About a year ago, my family and I were spending our vacation in a tourist resort. We were staying in one of the hotels there. When we arrived, we received the keys to our rooms, which were all on the fifth floor. Every day I would go down to the lobby, read a book, or watch a movie. And I always used to talk to James, the hotel receptionist. One night I was sitting in the lobby as usual when I received a WhatsApp message from my mother. She was asking me, when will I go up to my room? I noticed it was close to 12 a.m. I went up to my room, but I didn't go to sleep immediately and continued reading the novel I was reading below. Suddenly I remembered my bag that I had forgotten in the hall. I called James on the hotel phone, but the line was busy. I decided to go down to the reception and get the bag myself. I got out of my room and walked down the corridor to the elevator. When the elevator door opened, I saw a girl inside. She was about the same age as me, but she seemed very nervous. She was wearing a pink blouse that I liked. I looked at her and said, I love your outfit. But she didn't answer me and didn't even look at me. I spoke to her again and told her my name was Carla and asked about her name. She didn't answer this time either and she hit the button for the first floor. I felt like I was bothering her. Maybe she is not sociable and she doesn't like talking to strangers. The elevator went up to the 10th floor. I don't know how. I thought I saw her hit the button for the first floor. The girl's tension was increasing and she was constantly looking at the elevator door until we reached the 10th floor. Then the door opened and the 10th floor appeared. It was very dark and different from the rest of the hotel. I found her moving towards the door and about to go out. I wanted to get her attention, so I told her this was the 10th floor and I assumed she wanted to go to the first floor. But she ignored me this time too and went on her way without caring what I said. She left the elevator. I asked her for the last time, where is she going? And this time she ran quickly and the elevator door closed. I hit the button for the ground floor. I went to James in the reception and asked him, did he see my bag? He had already found it and kept it to give it back to me. He told me that I could have called on the phone and he was going to bring it to my room. I told him I tried, but the line was busy. He shrugged and told me that the line was open and there had been no calls for half an hour. I was about to leave, but my curiosity made me ask James if there were any hotel guests with special needs, because I spoke to a girl in the elevator and she never spoke to me as if she were deaf. He told me he wasn't sure of that. Even if he knew, he was forbidden to share information about the guests with anyone. I respected that. I took the elevator to my room. The next day, my family and I were going to spend the day at the beach. On my way, I passed the reception and waved to James, and he waved to me as well and told me to come over. He asked me about the girl who had been with me in the elevator the night before and asked me to describe her to him. I told him she was about my age, had brown hair, and wore a pink blouse. He told me that this girl didn't come back to her room yesterday, and her parents are very concerned in asking about her, and when the hotel staff checked the cameras, they found something strange. The girl was hitting random buttons in the elevator. What James said sounded a bit familiar, and reminded me of a YouTube video I saw a while ago about a story that happened in 2013. James thanked me, and I went back to spend the day with my family. I spoke to my father and told him what happened, and he told me that it also reminded him of what happened in 2013 to a girl named Alyssa Lamb. Alyssa was staying at the Cecil Hotel in America. She took the elevator and then disappeared. Then she was found dead, and her body was dumped in the hotel's water tank. And when they checked the cameras, they found her talking to herself without anyone else with her. She often played that famous game, the elevator game. That night I did a Google search to find out the rules of this game and what happens to the person who plays it. I understood from the articles that it is not just a game, but a gateway to the underworld. The game requires that you be in a huge building consisting of 10 floors or more, and of course there must be an elevator. You will take the elevator and you must be alone. When the door closes, you will press the button for the fourth floor, then the second floor. 
and when you get there, hit the button for the sixth floor, then the second floor again, then the tenth floor. When you reach the tenth floor, you will hit the button for the fifth floor. When you get there, the door will open and a lady will enter the elevator. You are not allowed to look at her or talk to her because she is simply not human. Even if the lady speaks to you, you should not answer her and instead hit the button for the first floor. But you will find the elevator going up to the tenth floor. If you get out of the elevator, don't look behind you. The lady will ask you, where are you going? Never reply. Go ahead and know that you are now in another world. In the underworld, there are no lights, and if you look outside the windows, you will only see a red X. Also, the mobile network does not work there, which means that you will not be able to contact anyone. If you want to return to your world, you must locate the elevator that brought you here, which will be difficult to locate. And if you find it, it will be difficult to reach because the closer you get to it, the more you will find it moving away. If a miracle happens and you can find it, take it immediately. When the door closes, hit the same numbers that you pressed previously in the same order. Until you reach the fifth floor, you must press the button for the first floor and you will find the elevator going to the tenth floor on its own. You have to hit any button and stop the elevator or it will take you back to the underworld again. If you succeed, the elevator will take you back to your real world and you will find yourself on the first floor. You have to make sure that this is the correct one. If anything goes wrong during the game, you will wake up and find yourself asleep in your bed. But after a while, you will discover that this bed is not in your room and that you will remain locked in the underworld. I was terrified of what I just found out and remembered everything that happened. I entered the elevator on the fifth floor, and when I spoke to the girl, she did not answer me. Maybe she thought I was the lady mentioned in the game. But I'm just a human. Is it possible that I was part of the game? Is it possible that she saw me in a different way? A year has passed since this incident, and the girl is still missing. They claim that any mistake in the rules of the game will lead to the person being stuck in the underworld. Is it possible that I'm the reason she's stuck there? Is my presence with her inside the elevator what ruined the rules of the game and made her trapped there? Just thinking about it kills me. I may have only seen this girl once, but I really hope it comes back. It may be impossible, but I hope she is well, and I hope to see her again. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and become a member of the Midnight Screams family. Also don't forget to like and share the video with your friends, and if you have a horror story or other terrifying experience, you can send it to the email address in the description. Wait for me every Sunday and Wednesday with a new animated story, and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. I love you so much, have a nice day.